United States Capitol. Joining us now inside that building, Democratic Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of New York. He is chairman of the House Democratic Caucus. Mr. Chairman, it's great to have you back on the show this morning. Thanks for being with us. I want to pick up on the conversation you may have been listening to uh, before the break. We heard Claire McCaskill talking about the challenge for you, for Democrats, which is to tell your voters, your constituents, what you're doing for them, despite the fact they're having trouble filling up their cars with gas or making it through the, the register at the checkout at the stop and shop without their eyes popping out of their heads. What do you say to your constituents who say, I need some help here? Well, it's important to understand that we understand that there are inflationary pressures, particularly related to food prices, uh, increases in gas prices exacerbated by uh, Putin's unjustified war in Ukraine. It is really Putin's price hike in terms of gas prices continuing to go in the wrong direction. Uh, and we understand that and we're working hard to address it. But there is a foundation that has been laid for a strong economy. The economy was on the verge of collapse when President Biden first took office. The American Rescue Plan helped to turn that around. 7.4 million good paying jobs created during President Biden's first 14 months in office. That's a record uh, in American presidential history. Fastest rate of economic growth in 40 years. Unemployment down to an incredible low of 3.8 percent. When President Biden took office, it was 6.4. Wages have increased and all of that has been accomplished while reducing the deficit by more than $350 billion in President Biden's first year. And so that's a foundation for us to continue to act. Uh, it also should provide some evidence that Democrats will continue to deliver and get things done for everyday Americans while Republicans continue to talk about it and didn't do nothing about it. So Congressman Jeffries, good morning, Jonathan Lemire. Uh, obviously, the price hike at the pump is at least in part due to the war in Ukraine. And we're hearing more from President Zelensky by the day, um, though grateful for the support that the U.S. has supplied to this point. He's asking for more. And in fact, Ukrainian officials in recent days have really built up a clamor here saying they're about to run out of essential equipment that they need to keep to continue to repel Russian forces. So what more can the United States do, can the Congress do in order to either slap sanctions on Russia or most vitally, perhaps, send more equipment including uh, anti-aircraft missiles or even jets to help the Ukrainians? Well, we need to continue to ensure that Ukraine has everything necessary to continue its courageous and heroic effort to push Vladimir Putin and the Russian forces out of Ukraine and to win this war. Last year, we provided approximately a billion dollars in assistance. That was a record. Uh, this year, we just authorized north of $13 billion in humanitarian, military, and economic aid. That is a phenomenal effort in terms of standing by the Ukrainian people. We've got to make sure they have the precise weapons that they need, stingers, uh, anti-aircraft weapons, javelins, the things that have already been effective access to the highest degree of technology and to continue to make sure that the intelligence communication is close and intimate as it has been up to this date. Hakeem, this is Claire. Um, has there been any discussion among the House and Senate in terms of the Ag Committees uh, at looking at the near monopolies we have right now in agribusiness and what impact that is having on food prices? I think if the American people understood that there is a healthy amount of price gouging going on, and if, you know, you guys have a lot of investigative firepower, you're using a lot of it on 1-6 right now, which I think we all support, but it's time to pull back the curtain and show what is really going on, because we, the, the food supply, it's not as, as if this is an import problem. Um, we grow all of our own food, almost all of our own food, in the United States. So um, has there been any thought to that? Because I think if the American people understood that some people are taking advantage of this situation, they would maybe be more forgiving of the Democratic Party. Yes, Senator McCaskill, thank you so much for that observation. Uh, there is um, serious consideration being given to the appropriate committees to engage in that conduct, and some of them have already begun that process. The Judiciary Committee and the Antitrust Subcommittee, under the leadership of Chairman Nadler and Chairman Cicilline, uh, have begun that process to discuss the price gouging that is occurring, particularly as it relates to food prices, 
in uh, the agricultural markets related to meat because you are exactly correct. There are people, big businesses, making an extraordinary amount of money. Greed is driving a lot of what is occurring, uh, and that is a story that should be told to the American people to help explain why we find ourselves in the situation that we are in right now. We also are going to continue to lower costs for everyday Americans. Yesterday, we passed uh, the Affordable Insulin Now Act, which will drop the average price of insulin from approximately $4,000 per year to $35 per month. Uh, and we're just getting started in terms of leaning in to lower health care costs, lower the high price of life-saving prescription drugs, lower child care costs, lower housing costs, and lower education costs. We can't get any assistance from our Republican colleagues because they're all about obstruction, uh, but we are going to do the business of the people. Chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, representing the 8th District of New York, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, thanks so much for your time this morning. We always appreciate it. Coming up next. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.